All right, so if you caught that part of the conversation about the mortgages and you went, what? Wait, what? We have more information for you. Uh, if you are looking to buy a home, you have good credit as of today, that could actually cost you more in the future. Yeah, it actually is going to cost more the way things stand right now. And this kind of runs contrary to everything we've ever believed. Mm. Um, if your credit isn't so stellar, you're actually going to be getting a break on those same fees. Christy Paul here to explain. This yeah. has a lot of people scratching their heads. Uh, they're in a tizzy. I can tell you that yeah. they are in a tizzy about this. So I want to break it down for you on what we know and what it means for you. First of all, the FHFA or the Federal Housing Finance Agency is implementing a new rule. It starts today and it's basically a fee structure change on any new mortgage specifically backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. So what it means is if you have a solid credit score, say in the 700s, you're getting less of a break on your fees now. If you have a lower credit score, you're getting a better break on your mortgage fees. And you're at home going, why? Well, the Biden administration says its goal is to provide more equitable access to people with lower incomes so they can obtain mortgages. But what do those numbers really look like? Well, CEO of Oxygen Financial, Ted Jenkins, put it to me this way. If you have good credit and put down 25% on an average home, he says, your new fees will be about 50% higher wow. than what you'd have formally paid on that same loan. In correlation, if a person with a lower credit score who could not afford a sizable a down payment would try to get into the same house, their fees would go down around 25 to 30%. Now, I asked Ted if this new system helps alleviate the potential to put someone in a home that they can't afford. I think it, it, it makes the risks a lot higher now. Maybe it helps upward mobility of people who couldn't have gotten that new home. That makes sense. But on the other hand, if you give people a loan that they haven't proven that they can pay the money back over time, it could be problematic to the entire banking system. So listen, Ted says there are a couple important things we need to remember. One, these are specific rules only associated with loans backed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Two, they're specific to buying a new home or refinancing. This does not affect your existing mortgage payment. And three, these are for mortgage fees, not mortgage rates, not interest rates. So if you have a good credit score, you will still be getting a better interest rate than if your score is lower. And I asked Ted, you know, if there's any fear that this could prompt another financial crisis, such as what we saw in 2008, because you know that began be at the core of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. I'm going to tell you what he said about that on what's now coming up at 5 o'clock. Yeah, that's fascinating what long term this could do when you're putting folks in home mortgages that they might not be able to maintain. That's what happened in 2008. A lot of people had loans that could not pay them. And, and they were different the loans because some of them were zero, you know, zero down payments. Right. And so the, the structure was different back sure. then because it was Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and because they went through it the first time and they were kind of the core of it, you have to believe that they are being much more cognizant of what this means and, and how this will be handled. Um, but Ted has, has some good thoughts on yeah. that. So we'll talk about that at five. All right. Wow. See, what, see what happens. Yeah, I know a lot of states have already signaled that they're going to take legal action because they, they claim that this is not necessarily part of the executive branch and mm -hmm. things that should come from the top. These are things that should be litigated. And it wasn't. And I'm sure it'll end up in court. <laughs> I was <laughs> we'll going to say, happens. yeah, I would not be surprised based on some things that uh, people I've talked to that, you know, in the legality arena. Right. Definite questions. All right. All right. Thanks. So Thanks, much, Christy. Christy. Thanks.